welcome you back in geological knowledge in the previous video we have discussed about the basic classification of faults and in that video we have discussed some basic faults like normal fault or the reverse fault okay and the basis on which they have, the faults have been classified and in that video we have also discussed the basis of classification means five or six basics basis of the classifications we have discussed and in today's video we will discuss the some other classification of faults okay and that's important for you to know the basics because only then if you are strong with the basics only then you will be able to understand the other things okay so if you have watched that first video go into the playlist or i will provide the description i will provide the link in the description box and you can watch it from there because the basics i have discussed in the first video they are very important and they will help you in understanding this video okay so let's start and the video is dedicated to the classification of fault that is the second part of it okay and the first question is horst and grebens are believed to occur due to which process okay lateral compression shear compression lateral tension or the bending so in previous video we have discussed the horst and grebens which are formed because of the normal faulting so here the question is related to the origin that which type of origin they have so the origin of horst and grebens is believed to be due to the lateral tension in the crust and in most cases okay so the basis is the lateral tension of the in the crust second one is faults involving extensive blocks and resulting in horst and grebens are called as extensive faults block faults okay h or h and b faults or the vertical faults so they are basically block faults block faulting so faults involving extensive blocks and resulting in horst and grebens are often known as block faults and the process is known as block faulting okay third one is faults in which the fault plane is vertical and the resulting movement is also vertical which are these faults known as vertical faults straight faults reverse fault or the anaclone faults so it's very important and very basic too that is the vertical fault so faults in which the fault plane is vertical as well as the resulting movement is also vertical okay so the resulting movement or blocks is also vertical in directions are termed as the vertical faults and it's customary to group vertical faults along with the normal fault while discussing their origin okay basically what what it means that you will have to group the vertical faults along with the normal faults wherever you discuss about the origin of the faulting okay so vertical faults generates because of the fault plane is vertical as well as the resulting movement that is also vertical okay so option a is the right answer fourth one is in which fault the hanging wall appears to have moved up with the respect to the foot wall okay normal faulting reverse faulting hinge faulting or the radial faulting so in the first video we in the first video we have discussed the classification of faults where we have discussed about the normal fault okay in which the hanging wall appears to have moved downward relative to the foot wall okay but in case of reverse fault reverse fault is just reverse of normal faulting means in such a type of fault the hanging wall appears to have moved up with respect to the foot wall okay and there are some other points to remember about uh, reverse faulting that in the case of reverse faulting the fault plane dips towards the up throw side okay and in normal faulting the fault plane dips towards the down throw side and also the reverse faults are usually high angle faults okay and they are produced by the compressional forces whereas the normal faults are formed because of the tensional forces okay 
and these faults indicate shortening of the earth crust as well as in terms of normal faulting normal faults usually have they so they indicate the lengthening of the crust earth's crust and reverse fault they indicate the shortening of the earth's crust okay so option b reverse fault the fault in which the fault plane is generally inclined between 45 degrees and horizontal what is that fault, fault known as reverse fault normal fault strike slip fault or the anaclone fault so that is the reverse faulting in reverse faults the fault plane is generally inclined between horizontal and 45 degrees in between horizontal and 45 degrees although reverse faults with the steeply inclined fault surface have also been encountered okay steeply inclined faults they have also been encountered but generally it has been asked so generally the horizontal the dip is they generally dip between horizontal and 45 degrees in case of reverse fault that is option a is the right answer sixth one is what does the reverse fault cause to the earth's crust and we have discussed it extension of the crust the strengthening of the crust weakening of the crust or the shortening of the crust so we have discussed that the reverse fault by virtue of their inclination and direction of movement reverse faulting involves shortening of the earth's crust okay compared to the normal fault In normal fault the faulting indicate lengthening of the crust so option d sorting of the crust is the right answer seventh one is thrust fault belong to which variety of faults normal fault reverse faults strike slip fault or the hinge faults so thrust faults are broadly speaking such varieties of faults in which the hanging wall moved up relative to the foot wall okay so what happens in terms of reverse fault normally reverse faults have dip of order of 45 degrees or more than that but intense compression strength or intense compression produces low angle reverse fault so those low angle reverse fault they are known as thrust fault okay and thrust faults may curve at the bottom to the to merge with the bedding plane sometimes they are curved at the bottom to merge with the bedding plane okay so that is the thrust fault indicates to the variety of reverse fault option b next one is what is the what is the fault angle of the thrust faults so we have discussed it more than 45 degrees less than 45 degrees lesser than 40 60 degrees or the more than 90 degrees so that, that is option b less than 45 degrees if the fault angle that is the greater than 45 degrees or more than that so that will be uh, reverse fault but because of the intense compressive strength intense compressions the thrust faults are produced which are low angle reverse fault okay so that's the same is given here thrust fault are the types of reverse faults in which the hanging wall has moved up relative to the foot wall and that fault dips at an angle below 45 degrees so faults dipping above 45 degrees with the hanging wall having gone up then they are called the reverse faulting ninth one is the type of thrust in which the hanging wall seems to have been active actively and actually displaced with respect to passive foot wall is called as the type of thrust in which the hanging wall seems to have been actively and actually displaced with the with respect to passive foot wall what is that known as so correct answer is the over thrusting okay what happens in terms of thrust thrust falls they are formed because of the intense compression they produce low angle reverse fault and a horizontal whenever a horizontal or low angle thrust fall in which the displacement is large they are known as the over thrust okay and if we talk about their measurement so the displacement of over thrust can be measured in kilometers okay 
so thrust faults are of further distinguished into two subtypes that is the over thrust and the under thrust in the over thrust the hanging wall seems to have been active and actually displaced with respect to the passive foot wall so option b that is the over thrust is the right answer which mountain range presents the example of thrust faulting alps and these rockies or the himalayas so himalayas represent the uh, example of thrust faulting okay the himalaya mountain in the indian subcontinent present numerous examples of thrust faults developed all along its extension from the northwest to southeast so when we will discuss about the tectonic evolution or all about himalayas we will discuss the um, some basic or very important thrust faults okay so option b is right 11th one is what is the term used for blocks or rocks that have been translated to great great distances okay thrusts imbricate structures nape or the anaclons so these are known as nape okay so in the process of over thrusting what happens the displacement of over thrust that can be measured in kilometers we have discussed it and but the if the seat of any rock that has moved forward along the thrust plane that is known as nape okay and the isolated parts of over thrust rock mass resting on the underlying strata they are known as nape outlier or clipe okay so these are some basic terms nape clipe okay or the windows so we will discuss in detail but if this current question is concerned so nape is the term used for extensive blocks of rocks that have been translated to greater distances often ranging to several kilometers along with the thrust plane along a thrust plane okay so that is nape option c next one is the term which is studied the term is studied under faults but also associated with the folding what is that term nape thrust radial fault or the graben so that is the nape as we have discussed the large scale movement of nape may be attributed to a major thrusting or a recumbent folding okay that is followed by a thrust faulting so that is the uh, nape okay as we have discussed that this is very important these are the structures which are formed due to the denudation process some structures are their outcrop or the outlier or inlayers clipe window nape okay so we will discuss it in detail in the next video or in the newer video but at, as far as this question is concerned the correct answer for this question is the a that is the nape okay so this was our discussion which is based on the classification of faults on various basis and in the next video we will also discuss some other remaining uh, faults okay thank you